kitchen and dito na naman ako si Chef Mom Rosebud para mag-share sa inyo ng isang recipe which I hope your family will enjoy. So for today, gagawa ko ng bistek Tagalog gamit ang bangus. Dito na tayo! Okay, luto na tayo. So first thing, pagitin na natin yung ating pot. Lagyan na natin ng mantika. Okay, so pwede kayong gumamit ng vegetable oil, ito yung corn oil, canola oil, pwede yan. Kung anong meron oil sa bahay nyo, yun ang gamitin ninyo. So let's just put the oil on the pot. At meron na ako dito ngayong bangus. Ayan, ito yung bangus or milk fish. Ito, this has been marinated with the same sauce ingredients which is yung ating soy sauce and calamansi. Na marinate na rin siya. So, kailangan lang natin gawin, ipa-fry natin yung meat natin ngayon. Di ba? When we say kasi bistek, bistek Tagalog, ang usual na papapasok sa isip natin is either beef or pork. Pero since bangus ang meron ako dito sa aking kusina, naisipan ko na instead of just frying it, gagawin ko siyang bistek. Di ba? Kailangan talaga tayong mga moms, lalo na times like this, medyo mas maging creative when we make our dishes or when we cook our dishes. So, once na mainit na yung ating pot, yung oil sa ating pot, we can now start frying our fish. There you go. Then, so I have here four pieces ng bango. So this one, of course, has been depot already. Masarap kasi yung bangus, pero yun nga, mahirap siyang kainin kasi marami siyang tinik. So, always buy the one na debone na. Okay. So, fry lang natin siya skin side down. There. Okay. So, we're on the last piece of our bangus. So, ito na both sides. There. Let's get this. And set it aside. Ito na yung aking pang bistek. So, set aside muna natin yan. Then, let's lower the heat and add a little bit more of the oil. Ayan lang natin, ha? Masyado mataas ang apoy, galit na galit. Okay. So, now we're gonna be adding our white onion sa ating pwede din naman red onions. Yung ating white onions, mas sweeter yung taste na as compared sa white. So, depende yan sa inyong gusto. Ako kasi, kaya I decided na white onions ang gamitin. Bukod sa ito lang ang meron ako. Maganda rin siya kasing contrast sa color. Kasi nga medyo dark na yung color ng ating bangus. And the sauce will be dark as well. So, maganda rin na merong light color. Diba? So, we will just let this cook on low heat until it becomes soft and translucent and then we we'll prepare the sauce ingredients. So we have here our soy sauce. So let's just place it here in the pan. Okay, and then we have cornstarch and water. So, let's mix the cornstarch into our water. So, ang ginagawa ko dito ngayon yung slurry. So, ito yung pampalakot. So, let's just mix it. Mix. Until wala na kayong makitang lumps. Na-dissolve na yung ating cornstarch sa water. Then we'll slowly add it to our pan. So mix na natin. So this will thicken the sauce for our bistec. So you 
just add gradually kasi baka naman mamaya pag sobrang daming nalagay nyo, patay ko po na ha, mag-ingay. Pag masobrang daming nang malagay nyo, eh, pamamaya eh, sobrang kapal naman. Diba sobrang simple lang? Pag gagawa ka ng bistake, you only need a few ingredients. In your meat, or in my case, ang ginamit ko, bangus, soy sauce, toyo, na lagi naman meron yan sa inyong kusina, ang ating water, cornstarch, at ang ating pampaasim or ang ating sour ingredient, pwede rin gumamit ng talamansi, or kung meron kayo lemon, pwede rin lemon na gamitin ninyo. And of course, you need your onions as well. Very, very simple. Okay, so we'll just let the sauce come together. So it's already starting to boil. There, actually, yeah, it's boiled now. So let's lower the heat. Okay, and we will add in our ayan, calamansi juice. Ayan. So this is approximately mga juice ng limang calamansi. Ako kasi pag sinabi kasing bistik, mas gusto ko yung maasim. Yung naglalaban yung lasa nung alat from the soy sauce at yung asim from the calamansi. Ayan. So we'll just let this simmer. Mmm, bomb. Tapos, i-replate ka na. Papakita ko sa inyo. Kung napansin nyo, hindi ko na binalik yung ating bangus dun sa ating sauce. Kasi, baka pag niluto pa natin siya with the sauce, malasog-lasog na siya. We don't wanna overcook our bangus. And then, of course, we need our onions. Ayan. There you go. color yung ating bangus bistik. Ayan. Very nice. See? Ayan. So, tapos na aking bangus bistik. O, oh, diba? Napakasimple. And you only need a handful of ingredients para makapag-create tayo ng masarap na pagkain para sa ating pamilya. So, to everyone, mag-iisip ako ulit ng isa pang recipe which I could share to all of you. I hope that you are keeping safe. At sana ay healthy ang inyong buong pamilya. So, see you again next time!